my, my secret will ever show. If you guys can find this, let me know. Guys, Anja is right here on the right third pillar. Mine's up there. Mine's far left. Wait, over Josh, here, Josh, let me turn this around for a sec. I just need this in visual right here. Yes. Give me one second, okay? Yes. Um, okay, now stand back. Go back all the way. Hold this yes. Wait, come this way more. Yes, what are we doing? This way. We're what are we doing? We're in the big city right there. What are we doing? Right there, right there. Now put your arms out. Okay, this is where you're going to do your little thumbnail. I'm definitely going to use this. <laughs> Why? I can use, I'm gonna use the sprinkle. I'm going to use the sprinkle thumbnail. What it be? What it do though? I thought it would be a fun idea to see what my friend's experience has been like since they've been living with me for the past four days. And I feel like I've been a good host. So... Um, when we came in here, there was balloons everywhere. I couldn't fucking walk. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Um, I mean, Chicago is always a cool place to go to, but, you know, this dude smells like shit. You know, you can't drive. Um, I'm tired all the time. I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, I'm ready to go home. Oh, yeah, so the girls got the bedroom, and me and him stayed out on the couches and the air mattress. This motherfucker snores, bro. <sighs> like a damn pig. Like, I thought I was at a fucking farm or something. I was like, dude. Did y'all let the pigs loose or something? Like it was every hour, like this dude, you would think it was like a, a fucking earthquake. Like what the fuck? Bro, get like some nose strips or something, dude. I'm trying to sleep too, I'm fucking tired. You know what I mean? It's late as fuck, it's 2 a.m. and the motherfucker's snoring. Crazy to me, fucking dickhead. Bro, the motherfucker had me on the floor, sleeping on the cold, bro, I felt homeless. I'd rather just go outside and sleep. Also, it got way too fucking hot, so I asked him to turn the AC down. Two seconds later, that shit's like a fucking iceberg. And then I, I was like, yo, it's cold as fuck, can I get some extra blankets? He doesn't have any extra blankets. I'm over here fucking sleeping with a table on top of me as a blanket. It's cold. Fuck this guy, man. I'm going back home. I'm going back to China. Fuck America. Fuck everything. I swear to God. If I were to describe one word for Josh, I would say he's a pathetic, stupid, idiotic moron. Okay, if the interview about if the interview about oh, the sleeping aspect of Josh's apartment. Josh's apartment is literally atrocious. Let's just start with the bedding situation. He's sweet. He let me and my friends sleep in his room. Great, all great. But you know, when you come back from a hot day of summer smash, you want to sleep in the cold AC, right? I'm in his room. I'm literally turning it down to fucking 60 degrees, okay? And I would wake up sweaty, okay? If I had balls, they would be sweaty. But anyways, the point is, I was sweating so much and I was like, what is wrong with this goddamn AC? I wake up and it's just blowing air, but like no cold air. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with this shit? And then while I was getting ready in the morning, um, his like little AC system literally spit out ice, like ice cubes. I'm not even kidding, like fucking ice cubes. Is that not ghetto? I know y'all know what I'm not crazy, okay? You guys should know I'm not crazy. That's fucking ghetto. So I'm just saying Josh needs to get that AC system fixed. So Josh, get your get your maintenance guy over here, okay? Like we don't have time for this bullshit. Finally get to Josh's apartment, right? And the motherfucker's like, me and my friend are going inside, you're staying out here. And I'm like, why the fuck am I staying out here? And he's like, just don't worry about it, don't worry about it. And I'm like, okay. So I'm just like waiting out there. Keep in mind that I have my bags on me, so everything's just heavy and I'm waiting out there for like fucking 10, 15 minutes. Wondering what the fuck is going on in there. I knew he was like planning and plotting some stuff and I knew that I was supposed to expect something crazy because you know, it's Josh, he's crazy. But I didn't realize to what extent and how far he went. He opened the door, I see a motherfucking clown. And it's not even a clown, it's Ronald McDonald. But then I see like a weird like clown statue in the back and it's like some weird like guy with like a, like a ski mask. He has like this weird cutout of like some guy with a clown face on it. It's over there, if you want. But anyway, yeah, so I was scared shitless because I was like, what the fuck is this? Why is Ronald McDonald dressed up? And then I see his little pal, Cal, dressed in some fucking fat purple suit of some monster. Like, I don't know who the fuck that is, but he just looked, like, weird. And he, they both started, like, wobbling on each other, and I was like, what the fuck is this shit? What did I get myself into? You know, I just wanted to walk into the apartment, put my bags down, and detox. But instead, I got Ronald McDonald and a fat friend. Purple friend. Fat purple friend. Also, by the way, guys, Josh gave me way too many blankets. Like, piles and piles of blankets. I was sweating my tits Wait, out. Wait, bitch, you're the one that had all the blankets? I did not! I was freezing! Oh I the used the up. fucking table as a blanket last night. Oh my god, guys. Alright, alright, we're done. <laughs> we're done. Yeah, so, when I first got here, it was almost 
sketch because it looks like poverty. <laughs> the fucking apartment complex smelled like garbage, like literal garbage, like dead animals. Um, but you know, it wasn't that. Like, it wasn't the worst I've seen. So, and I can pretty much adapt to anything. So apparently, so apparently, like, of course, like Chicago has rats, New York has rats, but the biggest rat apparently lives in this apartment. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucking rat. You talk she's a motherfucking rat. Hopefully you got the clue, okay? You're a little rat. And that's on job. On job. On job, bitch!